What's up guys? Welcome to the buyer leads module if you have no listing. Um, this video I'm going to kind of go through like a quick overview of the campaign of what we're going to be setting up. And then the next videos we're going to actually go dive in and set it up for you. Okay, so this is like what the Facebook post or the Facebook ads going to look like. Okay, so as you can see very simple um, attention your city and then you're going to fill in like, you know, Portland, Phoenix, um, DC, wherever you might live. And it says, you know, do you know um, anyone looking to buy a home? Follow here. Here's a link to the landing page. I'll show you guys that really quick. So this is the landing page we're going to set up in the next video. So, so it says, you know, welcome to the, you know, Portland homes, Phoenix homes, Nebraska or not Nebraska, Omaha homes, <laughs> right? So anyway, then kind of just like it's basically just copy and paste. Okay, so looking for homes for sale under three hundred thousand dollars or five hundred thousand or six hundred, like whatever the the price range is, you can kind of like edit that. And then thanks your name. And then I like to throw in a few photos um, from of homes in your area, right? So like, because like homes in LA are going to look a little bit different than homes in um, what, Georgia or something like that or Texas, right? So they're going to look a little bit different. So you want to like make it match with um, your specific location. So anyway, this is the quick overview campaign. So like, if they come in here, they see this ad on Facebook because they're scrolling through their their mobile news feed or desktop news feed. They click on this. They're like, oh, cool. Like I want to go get um, the the list of, of homes so it says get me my list they come in put in their name their email and their phone number they hit submit and then they become a lead well actually this one I it looks like I redirected it um, which we'll show you guys how to do that later but anyway guys um, at this point they become a lead you get an instant email and text notification saying hey this person just became a lead you should follow up with them and also, we'll have an automated email follow-up sequence or even text messaging follow-up sequence to connect with this person. So anyway, guys, that, that's a quick overview. It's very simple, very basic, but um, this campaign has worked extremely well if you're looking for buyer leads but you do not have a listing right now. So let's jump into it and uh, we'll first set up the landing page. All right, welcome back, guys, to um, the landing page creation video. We're going to go through and I'm going to show you guys how easy we've made this whole process the, the template's already basically done for you. So this um, landing page, which I showed you guys in the last video. So what we're gonna do, um, log into your ArcelMKG software right here. And you can see um, this is just a demo account, so we've got all these different landing pages here. But we're, what we're gonna do is click on create another website right here, okay? And see right at the top, so we've got all these different um, templates. But right at the top, we've made it so easy. Like we've got the real estate websites, and if you're trying to create a listing lead, uh, open house, seller leads, like whatever you're trying to go for, um, it's, it's already pre-built, done for you. Okay, so what we're going to do is come over here to the buyer leads, no listing. Okay, so we're just going to choose this campaign. And it's going to kick us into the website builder where we can edit the images, text, video, like we can edit anything and customize it to you and your business. But the great thing is, is you don't really have to do too much. Right, so once we get this all loaded up, my internet, sorry, is a little bit slow today for some reason. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're all we have to do. See, it says welcome to the your city homes under three hundred thousand list. Some of these homes even qualify for special financing programs. All you have to do is say it says click to edit this section. So we're just gonna click on this, okay? And then over here, this is where you can edit all of the text, all the information um, that you want to. Okay, but the cool thing is you literally don't really have to do too much. So all we're going to do is come over here and see where it says your city. We're just going to erase this. And where do we want to be from today? Let's say um, homes under, welcome to the Denver. Okay, so let's say a little shout out to all the Colorado people on here. So welcome to the Denver homes under $300,000 list. Or if you're like, you kind of want to sh um, shoot for people that are a little bit higher price range, you can put $500,000. $800,000 just basically based off of what you want to go through and target okay so from here all we have to do like what I like to do typically because remember in this post we've got some pictures of homes in your area you probably want to put like whatever this main feature home is you want to add that is this feature background okay so all we have to do for that is come over here to the change the background image we click choose new image and we'll come over here to my images and then right here, you guys, you can choose an image to upload. So you just do click on that, and then you choose an image from your desktop. Okay. Now I've already got several images in here, so I'm just going to use one of these. So like look, this one looks kind of like an Arizona home. I grew up in Arizona, so that's I know it kind of looks like that. So what we'll do is say 
we'll get into this all kind of mixed up now. So we're, we'll change this to um, Phoenix. So we're not going crazy here. Okay, so welcome to the Phoenix homes under $300,000 list. Some of these homes may even qualify for special financing. So literally we just changed one word there and changed the background image and now you are literally set, ready to go. Okay, so now after somebody goes in and says, give me my list, puts in their name, email, and phone number, hit submit, they become a lead and they hit something what's called the thank you page. Okay, and we just, we get access to that by clicking right here. So this is the next page that they're gonna hit after the lead comes in. Okay, so it says, thanks, check your email for the list of homes I just sent you. Okay, so what we're gonna do is just click on, click to edit this section right here, and let's just make this background image the same image. So we're just gonna go to, I'll go through slow on that one. Choose new image, my images, scroll down, and choose the image you've already uploaded. Okay, and then we'll hit use this image, and then you just kinda keep the consistency throughout this whole campaign, all right? So now what we're gonna do is hit publish, Okay, and literally guys, that is it. Like we are done with the landing page, we're done with the thank you page. Um, you know, it, it's live, it's ready to go. And you can even change the name up here. So you can say like Phoenix Homes under 300K if you wanna kind of like rename that. And that's, that's important because see this how it says listing leads, like right up at the top right there. It'll actually say Phoenix Homes under 300K if you change that up. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is come back here and um, we've got the landing page done, we've got the thank you page done, and just really quick, I'm just gonna show you guys the automated emails because that's already done for you as well. So it's already, it's already finished, it's already in there. So what we're gonna do, see this Phoenix Homes under 300,000? I'm just gonna hover over this, and this edit kicks you into the back into the website builder if you need to make more edits. Um, preview, you can preview the site, or the follow-ups right here. We're gonna click on this, and look at this, guys you've already got, when they type in their, um, their name into the little, little um, info feature right here, first name, it's gonna automatically pull their first name, then automatically pull your details right here, your phone number. So like all we're gonna do is say, thank you for requesting a list of homes in Phoenix under 300,000 or you know whatever price range you choose. So if you say 300,000 or if we change that to 500,000. So now we'll just wanna edit delete this out here okay you can access it here hyperlink to list of homes from Zillow okay so now this is something that like I mean this is the simplest easiest way to do this if you guys don't want to go link out to Zillow you don't have to you can go find another list that you can create your own list but what I've done to go find um, an easy way to go through and, and give them immediate results so if they're looking for a home to buy in Phoenix okay Phoenix Phoenix, Oregon, that's where that pops up first. Um, Phoenix, Arizona. Okay, so now we come over here. And then we can narrow our search to um, maximum. So we'll go minimum zero, maximum 300,000. Okay, and now all we have to do is pull this link. And this link is just gonna pull up that exact search that we just put in. Okay, so homes under $300,000 in the Phoenix, Arizona. Um, area that we can go through in and find okay so what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna go to bit.ly so it's a bit.ly is a URL shortener because that, like this URL up here is super super long like look at that that's crazy like crazy nonsense stuff so we come in here to bit.ly bitly.com or bit.ly we're just gonna paste it in here see how it makes it a really nice easy simple um, link right there we're just gonna copy that we're gonna come back here. It says you can access it here. So we can either throw the link right there, like that, or if we don't wanna do that, we can come in here and we could just hyperlink. So what hyperlink is is making so the text links out to that, whatever link you're sending to. So we can say insert link right here. And we just type that in and then hit okay. And then we've got that right there. Okay, so you can access it here. And everything else you don't have to hit because it automatically puts in your phone number and it automatically has your contact info. This is obviously a demo account and you're set and ready to go. Okay, so we're just gonna hit publish here. Okay, and one other thing really quick. If you guys, if it doesn't already show your name over here, you might wanna just put your name and then your email at gmail.com or like whatever your email is, okay? Because then when they hit reply to this email, 
it's going to go back to you. Okay, so basically, I just want to show you guys that this is like already basically done for you. And then right here, the email subject line. The only other thing is, um, okay, three hundred thousand dollars in Phoenix. So like basically, I mean, we've we've done everything for you. Just kind of like throw in these little fillers, right? Um, and then we'll just hit publish again. And then if you guys wanted to, like once this person opts in, if you wanted to have like another email or even a text message or anything like that, we can go through and say, hey, you know, we want a new text message and we could say something like, um, hey, I just saw you, um, you were looking for a list of homes um, under $300,000 in the Phoenix area. Let's set up a time to chat or something like that. Okay, and obviously I'm not gonna write the whole thing even though I kind of already did. Um, so let's chat, just give it a little name. And then this delay right here, so this is how long after the person becomes a lead, how long we want to wait before we send it. Okay, so set your delay to if it's zero minutes, hours, or days. So we can maybe say like, let's wait five minutes before that's sent. So it kind of looks a little bit, um, a little bit more personal. We'll hit publish. So this email goes out immediately. That's already a pre-built template in there. And then we got this um, text message going out five minutes later. Then we could even say, hey, let's do another email, but let's do this the next day. And so you can just say like follow up or whatever, okay? Because we've got we've got several other templates that you guys can use and um, already kind of in the system, okay? So we just come in here, and you guys can see how we're like creating this this automated follow up sequence. But honestly, right out of the gate, um, as you guys are just getting this set up, I wouldn't worry about making any other text or emails or anything like that because we have other sequences you can just enroll them into. What I would do is just focus on getting this first email done and then you're good to go. Honestly, that's that's all you really need to do because once you got that lead, you can, you know, call them, you can enroll them into some other sequences or um, make it, it, anyway, there's a lot easier ways to do that, okay? So anyway, guys, um, that's it. That's, that's it for uh, this video and then the next video, we're gonna go through and set up the Facebook tracking, so what's called the Facebook pixel and then also what's called a custom conversion and then um, anyway, we're gonna move right along with this module. So anyway guys, go ahead. If you guys have not yet, um, pause the video as you're going through this video. Set up your landing page, customize it to your business. Um, set up the email, customize it to what you're doing and then we will see you in the next video. What's up guys, welcome back. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up the Facebook tracking and then also what's called a custom conversion. And the custom conversion, if you guys have never done pixels or custom conversions or any of that before, it's totally cool. I'm going to show you guys how it's very simple copy and paste type of method and um, what we're going to do the difference between a custom conversion and what ads you probably have already run the ads you've already run that's like boosting posts or whatever um, that's going to get you likes and comments whereas custom conversions is actually going to generate you leads so it's going to get you someone's name phone number email address and uh, it's, it's just a lot better qualified for that so what we're going to do is from your main Facebook profile um, you're going to come over here to Ads Manager, or you can also access it over here, the top right drop down. So we're going to go to Manage Ads, Create Ads. I'm just going to click on Ads Manager over here. Okay, so this is going to kick us into our ads account. And um, what we're going to do first is we're going to go through and set up the Facebook pixel. Okay, and we're going to use that and put it on our um, landing page as well as the thank you page that we created in the last video. Okay, now this is very simple. And sorry guys, I apologize, my internet, it's super, super slow right now. I don't know why. I'll kind of edit the video so it's, um, you don't have to wait so long. All right guys, so finally it loaded. Um, what we're gonna do is come up here to the search bar. This is the easiest way I've found to do this. And we're just gonna type in pixels, okay? See, this is one of the tools for Facebook. We're gonna click on that. And if this is your first time setting up your Facebook pixel, it's gonna have like a, big green button or blue button, I can't remember which color, saying, hey, create pixel. And it's just gonna walk you through some basic steps, like a you know next, next checklist thing. All right, so here we are. This is the default pixel. You can see you can actually name your pixel when you're creating it. This is just demo account. But um, just a heads up, guys, Facebook does change this interface from time to time. But the whole overall concept and strategy is exactly the same. So 
if you're watching this video and it doesn't look exactly like it, um, just just kind of like click around a little bit and you should be able to totally find it. It's not that difficult. It's just this little um, little piece of code that we're going to copy and paste. You don't even know what the code means or anything. I don't know what it means, um, but it's anyway. That's what we're going to do. So what I'm going to do is click on default pixel right here. All right. So now that we um, clicked on the default pixel, what we're going to do is come over here to setup. Okay. So when we click on setup, it's going to pop up this little modal. And it's going to ask us, okay, do you want to use an integration or tag manager, manually install the code yourself? And that's exactly what we want to do. Manually install the code yourself. Okay. And obviously sounds a little crazy. It's really not. It's very, very simple, very easy. Okay. So this number one, we don't need to mess around anything with that. Number two, this is what we want. Okay. So when we hover over this, see how it turns blue and it says copy code to clipboard. All we have to do is just click on this. Okay. We're just going to click on that. Then we're going to come back over here to Arsenal MKG and we're going to click on, this is the landing page we just set up. We're going to click edit. And then once we come in here, we're going to paste this on our landing page and our thank you page. So if you read here, it says paste the pixel code at the bottom of the header section, just above the head tag, right? So um, I'm going to show you guys how we've made this super simple. So you've already copied this and we're going to come back here to the website builder. So now what we're going to do is come over here to see this, see it's got a website and page tab. We're going to go to the page tab and we're going to scroll down and click on advanced. See this header tracking code? Remember how right here it says place it in the head tag. We're just going to paste it right in there. Okay. So we've done that on the landing page. We also want to do it on the thank you page. So we want to put it in here and also come over here to the thank you page, hit page and come down to advanced header tracking code, paste, hit publish, and we are good to go. Okay. So now that we've done that, I want to show you guys really quick how we can check it and make sure that it's all working properly. So if we come back out here, hit exit. I apologize guys. My, my internet is kind of slow today. I'm not sure why. All right, so now we are back on the desktop right here or the main dashboard. So what we're going to do is click on this site. You can either click here or you can click preview. Either one is fine. And it's going to pull up this landing page. Okay, so what we want to do now is we want to use a little tool called the Facebook Pixel Helper, which is 100% free to use. Okay, and what that is is it's going to add a little, see this little like icon thing. And guys, the best thing to do is use Google Chrome when you're setting all this up because Chrome is just best for Facebook ads, best for Arsenal MKG. It's also best for the Facebook Pixel Helper. Okay, and see how this is a little like this all lit up right there? That's what we want to see on the landing page. I'm going to opt in and I'm going to do a test lead just to make sure where it's working on the thank you page as well. So to get the Facebook Pixel Helper, we're just going to type into Google Facebook Pixel Helper. Okay, so now um, you can see it's just this, this first result after the ad. If we just click on that, we can see, okay, it's the F Facebook Pixel Helper. We just hit add to Chrome and you can see up here, or is it right here? See how it's like not highlighted? That's because this site does not have a Facebook pixel. Whereas on our site, see how it's green and blue, it's all lit up. That means the Facebook pixel is there. It's firing, it's working. Okay, so now we want to just text, test and make sure it's working on the thank you page as well. So we're going to test in and we just put in, you, you can put in a test lead, test at Gmail, just put in some demo information. And then we want to see and make sure that it's working on the thank you page as well. Okay, so now you can, can see up here, it says it's all, you know, lit, lit up in color and it looks like it's working. So we are good to go. We are done with that aspect of um, th this part of setting up the Facebook pixel. Okay, so now that we got the Facebook pixel set up, we want to create what's called a custom conversion. So Facebook is able, now that we have the, the pixel there, to track every single time somebody becomes a lead. Okay. Now the only way they become can become a lead is if they go and they see this page. That means they put in their contact information, they've opted in and they become a lead, right? So this URL up here, they only see this URL if they have become a lead. So all of this right here, this is just like a unique ID. This is a unique code to that individual lead. So what we're going to do is take everything from the thanks and before and copy that. We're going to come back to the ads manager right here. We're going to come up here to um, this little hamburger menu at the top left, the ads manager. 
and we're going to go down to all tools we're going to go to measure and report and go down to custom conversions okay all right so now that we're here at the custom conversion page what we're going to want to do is create a custom conversion okay so we're going to click create custom conversion we're going to use this url we're going to paste that right there okay so the same see it's sites.arsenalmkg.com 7783s four slash thanks that is that same URL up here without any of this. So we don't want any of this, remember? Okay, so just this and before. And then we're going to say choose a category. And that means it's a lead. Okay, we'll hit next. And we'll say Phoenix homes under 300K. And we'll just say demo for this example right here. Okay, so now we're going to hit create. What happens is this drops down into the list. Okay, so now what happens is it's going to drop into the list. And so we go down to the very bottom. I see this Phoenix Homes under 300,000. This is the demo, the one we just created. It says no activity yet. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to refresh the page right here so that this will light up again and basically let Facebook know that it's tracking, it's working, we're all set, good to go. Okay, so once this refreshes, we're going to go back into the Facebook Ads Manager and refresh it there, and it should be active all ready to go. Okay, so now we're gonna come back here to the ads manager. We're just gonna hit refresh right here. And then this should pop up to the very top and that should go green. Okay, so you see this at the very top here, Phoenix Homes under 300,000, demo, active, last received in the last hour. Okay, so now we are set, we're ready to go, we're ready for the next step. We've got all of our tracking in place, we've got our custom conversion created, we've got our landing page, our thank you page, our emails all set up. Now it's time to go through and create the ad. So in the next video, we're just going to kind of break this down we're, in the next video I'm going to show you guys how to create the ad how to do the targeting and everything you need to go through and start running this campaign what's up guys welcome back and in this video I'm going to show you how to set up the Facebook tracking and then also what's called a custom conversion and the custom conversion if you guys have never done pixels or custom conversions or any of that before it's totally cool I'm going to show you guys how it's very simple copy and paste type of method and um, what we're going to do the difference between a custom conversion and what ads you probably have already run, the ads you've already run that's like boosting posts or whatever, um, that's going to get you likes and comments, whereas custom conversions is actually going to generate you leads. So it's going to get you someone's name, phone number, email address, and uh, it's, it's just a lot better qualified for that. So what we're going to do is from your main Facebook profile, um, you're going to come over here to Ads Manager, or you can also access it over here, the top right drop down. So we're going to, go to manage ads, create ads. I'm just going to click on ads manager over here. Okay, so this is going to kick us into our ads account. And um, what we're going to do first is we're going to go through and set up the Facebook pixel. Okay, and we're going to use that and put it on our um, landing page as well as the thank you page that we created in the last video. Okay, now this is very simple. And sorry guys, I apologize. My internet, it's super, super slow right now. I don't know why. I'll kind of edit the video so it's um, you don't have to wait so long. All right, guys. So finally it loaded. Um, what we're going to do is come up here to the search bar. This is the easiest way I've found to do this. And we're just going to type in pixels. Okay. And see, this is one of the tools for Facebook. We're going to click on that. And if this is your first time setting up your Facebook pixel, it's going to have like a big green button or blue button. I can't remember which color saying, hey, create pixel. And it's just going to walk you through some basic steps like a, you know, next, next checklist thing. All right, so here we are. This is the default pixel. You can see you can actually name your pixel when you're creating it. This is just demo account. But um, just a heads up, guys, Facebook does change this interface from time to time. But the whole overall concept and strategy is exactly the same. So if you're watching this video and it doesn't look exactly like it, um, just just kind of like click around a little bit and you should be able to totally find it it's not that difficult it's just this little um, little piece of code that we're gonna copy and paste and you don't even know what the code means or anything I don't know what it means um, but it's anyway that's what we're gonna do so what I'm gonna do is click on default pixel right here alright so now that we um, clicked on the default pixel what we're gonna do is come over here to set up okay so when we click on setup it's gonna pop up this little modal and it's going to ask us, okay, do you want to use an integration or tag manager, manually install the code yourself? And that's exactly what we want to do, manually install the code yourself. Okay, and obviously, sounds a little crazy. It's really not. It's very, very simple, very easy. Okay, so this number one, we don't need to mess around anything with that. Number two, this is what we want. Okay, so when we hover over this, 
See how it turns blue and it says copy code to clipboard? All we have to do is just click on this, okay? We're just gonna click on that. Then we're gonna come back over here to ArcelorMKG and we're gonna click on, this is the landing page we just set up. We're gonna click edit. And then once we come in here, we're gonna paste this on our landing page and our thank you page. So if you read here, it says paste the pixel code at the bottom of the header section just above the head tag, right? So um, I'm gonna show you guys how we've made this super simple. So you've already copied this and we're gonna come back here to the website builder. So now what we're gonna do is come over here to see this, it, it, see it's got a website and page tab. We're gonna go to the page tab and we're gonna scroll down and click on advanced. See this header tracking code? Remember how right here it says place it in the head tag? We're just gonna paste it right in there, okay? So we've done that on the landing page. We also wanna do it on the thank you page. So we wanna put it in here and also come over here to the thank you page, hit page, and come down to advanced, header tracking code, paste, hit publish, and we are good to go, okay? So now that we've done that, I wanna show you guys really quick how we can check it and make sure that it's all working properly. So if we come back out here, hit exit. I apologize guys, my, my internet is kind of slow today. I'm not sure why. All right, so now we are back on the desktop right here or the main dashboard. So what we're gonna do is click on this site. You can either click here or you can click preview. Either one is fine. It's gonna pull up this landing page, okay? So what we wanna do now is we want to use a little tool called the Facebook Pixel Helper, which is 100% free to use, okay? And what that is, is it's gonna add a little, see this little like icon thing? And guys, the best thing to do is use Google Chrome when you're setting all this up, because Chrome is just best for Facebook ads, best for Arsenal MKG, it's also best for the Facebook Pixel Helper. Okay, and see how this is a little, like this all lit up right there? That's what we wanna see on the landing page. I'm gonna opt in and I'm gonna do a test lead just to make sure where it's working on the thank you page as well. So to get the Facebook Pixel Helper, we're just gonna type into Google, Facebook Pixel Helper. Okay, so now um, you can see it's just this, this first result after the ad. If we just click on that, we can see, okay, it's the F Facebook Pixel Helper. We just hit add to Chrome and you can see up here, or is it right here? See how it's like not highlighted? That's because this site does not have a Facebook pixel. Whereas on our site, see how it's green and blue, it's all lit up? That means the Facebook pixel is there. It's firing, it's working. Okay, so now we wanna just text, test and make sure it's working on the thank you page as well. So we're gonna test in, and we just put in, you, you can put in a test lead, test at Gmail, just put in some demo information. And then we wanna see and make sure that it's working on the thank you page as well, okay? So now you can see up here, it says it's all you know lit, lit up in color and it looks like it's working. So we are good to go. We are done with that aspect of um, th this part of setting up the Facebook pixel, okay? So now that we got the Facebook pixel set up, we wanna create what's called a custom conversion. So Facebook is able, now that we have the, the pixel there, it's to track every single time somebody becomes a lead, okay? Now the only way they become, can become a lead is if they go and they see this page. That means they put in their contact information, they've opted in and they become a lead, right? So this URL up here, they only see this URL if they have become a lead. So all of this right here, this is just like a unique ID, this is a unique code to that individual lead. So what we're gonna do is take everything from the thanks and before and copy that we're gonna come back to the ads manager right here. We're gonna come up here to um, this little hamburger menu at the top left, the ads manager. And we're gonna go down to all tools. We're gonna to go to measure and report and go down to custom conversions, okay? All right, so now that we're here at the custom conversion page, what we're gonna to wanna to do is create a custom conversion. Okay, so we're gonna click create custom conversion. We're gonna use this URL. We're gonna paste that right there. Okay, so the same, see it's sites.arsenalmkg.com 7783s forward slash thanks. That is that same URL up here without any of this. So we don't want any of this, remember? Okay, so just this and before, and then we're gonna say choose a category, and that means it's a lead. Okay, we'll hit next, and we'll say Phoenix homes under 300K, and we'll just say demo for this example right here, okay? So now we're gonna hit create. What happens is this drops down into the list. 
Okay, so now what happens is it's gonna drop into the list. And so we go down to the very bottom. I see this Phoenix Homes under 300,000. This is the demo, the one we just created. It says no activity yet. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to refresh the page right here so that this will light up again and basically let Facebook know that it's tracking, it's working, we're all set, good to go. Okay, so once this refreshes, we're gonna go back into the Facebook Ads Manager and refresh it there and it should be active, all ready to go. Okay, so now we're gonna come back here to the Ads Manager. We're just gonna hit refresh right here and this should pop up to the very top and that should go green. Okay, so you see this at the very top here, Phoenix Homes Under 300,000, demo, active, last received in the last hour. Okay, so now we are set, we're ready to go, we're ready for the next step. We've got all of our tracking in place, we've got our custom conversion created, we've got our landing page, our thank you page, our emails all set up. Now it's time to go through and create the ad. So in the next video, we're just gonna kinda break this down. We're, in the next video, I'm gonna show you guys how to create the ad, how to do the targeting, and everything you need to go through and start running this campaign.